prayer of gratitude and blessing. So we're kind of releasing them as we pray. And we're, we're kind of saying, hey, Sam, sir, we thank you for your dedication. We thank you for your heart. And we want you to fly now. Go. And we're, we're saying um, we're growing. And you guys can go. And, and so we want to bless them so that they will be fed now. Um, they're going to be fed into, and they're going to take the first steps as young adults post-college. And it's a huge transition. There could, be this, there could be depression. There could be a lot of wrestling of um, what do I love to do? What am I going to do, God? But right now, we're just going to affirm them and bless them and let them go and release them. And so, if, if, could we just, um, I just want, um, maybe, I, I'm, I'll open us up. And um, actually, I, I want everybody to pray. And then, can we just have three people? Um, I, I want everybody to have a chance, but let me, can we just have three people to boldly pray and give thanks and release them? And then I'll close for us. So, um, meaning every, all everybody just pray for them, bless them. And then as it dies down, um, can we have three people just pray over them? Is that cool? Father, thank you so much. God, we see a glimpse of your heart, your people, your Sam and Sarah. God, that for, for them to step up, to step forward, to be, to be living a life committed, God. And Lord, that it has to be the Jesus. God, I saw a lot of struggle. I saw a lot of pain. I saw a lot of wrestling of their identity. But through it all, God, it wasn't that you strengthened their circumstances, but you strengthened their identity. And it is boldness of who they are that they are able to face their circumstances. God, we bless them. We honor them. And we let them go now. Father, we say that we thank you, Father, for pouring into us through, the, through our seniors, God. And so, Lord, we thank you, Father, for sharing this heart, this dedication, this love for this love for people. And he's going to encourage people, God. He's not, he's not just here to just be fed for himself, God. The Lord has always wanted to give. Thank you so much for this time in your heart. Dedication, but at the same time, it's humor, his ability to receive love from people. Thank you for Sarah, um, your beautiful daughter, your daughter, your child. This woman who has been growing with so much information, God. People affirm her that she is first choice, that she is first pick for her. So, Father, we want to say that Sarah is your first pick for her. Lord, we must look at her. Father, to your heart. Lord, we pray, Father, for the next coming steps, God, that there will be community, there will be people that she can pour into that Lord, intentionally, and to love them, and to bless them, God. So, Father, would you love them? Would you make this walk as, Lord, it may not be easy, it may not be a clear long time, but a wide open tunnel of understanding of God, of whatever is around us. But they just walk with you. Jesus, you said that you will never be the one who is sick. So, Father, what can I say to us? Thank you, Jesus. Would you encourage us to this guy? Father, it's time to pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
all those years, you know, even with all those finals, all that studying, you know, even with, you know, family problems, relationship problems, even with, you know, friends, in the midst of all of that, they, were, they stay committed and they trusted you and they pursued after you, knowing that in the end, that you would prevail and you would with them. So I thank you so much for that. And Jesus, we thank you for blessing them so much, blessing them so much with our brothers and sisters like these, like, like our college group. Yeah. And we just pray for them, love on them. Uh, thank you, Lord, for their hearts of compassion, God. Thank you that we can learn from them. Thank you that as they go on to young adult group, that, that even the older ones that come before them can learn from them. Amen. Yes, God. Lord, thank you for their humble, humble, serving like hearts. Father, we affirm today that they are yours and yeah. you are theirs. And as they go off into you know, their, their lives and worlds, as Santa goes off to the Netherlands and as Sarah you know, graduates in two weeks, uh, any spirit of fear, anxiety, doubt,